So people, I am back with another Destiny 2 video, two Destiny 2 videos in one day. The first time in absolutely months, do smash that like button if you do want to see more. Today guys, we have a little bit of bad news in regards to Battlelight. For those streamers out there who like to do those account recovs, paid carries, carries for followers, likes, etc, etc. That seems to be all coming to an end. And I know a lot of people are going to be a little pissed about this for sure. Today we get into it all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so direct from the Bungie.net website, which you'll see on screen now, the Destiny 2 security update. You can see there it says Battle Eye. I mean, it's basically just giving you guys the lowdown on what Battle Eye is. I won't read through that. It's not really important to the point of this video. But if you do want to pause the video and read that, you can. Or I'll link this post in the video description. We then see 1-2 two Punch 2, which again isn't important for the point of this video. But what is is win trading and account recovery. Well, win trading, not so much, but we read through anyway, and then the account recoveries. Okay, so win trading. Bungie defines win trading as intentionally granting other players wins in PvP activities. This includes, but is not limited to, manipulating matchmaking by any means to force match with specific opponents or coordinating with opponents to provide uncontested victories. We are now targeting players for bands who are actively engaging in win trading. The ultimate goal is protecting the competitive environment of PvP by removing the ability to bypass the effort that players put in to earn rewards. Play fair, keep it clean. Okay, so that's fair enough, whatever. Okay, so account recoveries. Account recoveries are when a player gives someone else access to their platform account and control of their destiny characters. This not only puts your account security at risk, but it can also have adverse effects on other players' experiences in competitive match made activities. Starting the season, participating as a buyer or seller of account recovery services could result in a ban on your account. While we will only be placing bans or restrictions for certain circumstances, we strongly recommend that you never give your account login information to anyone else. Okay, so they go on to say, not recommended, but won't get you banned. Sometimes I let my kid grind last sectors, you're fine here. I asked my cousin's friend to recover my account to check Zer because I was stuck at a wedding in a remote area with no internet access. Fair enough. My roommates and I all share an account on the common rooms console. Okay, I let my friend borrow my account to try out a weapon roll. These will not get you banned, but they say they don't recommend this. What could get you banned or restricted? Charging others to recover their account for boosting, earning items, completing content, etc. Recovering accounts in exchange for anything of value including, but not limited to, Patreon supporters, subscribers, follows, gift cards, etc. Wow! Paying someone to recover your account to be boosted, have items earned, etc. Boosting recoveries done for free can also result in bans or restrictions. Jesus, a lot of the streaming community who do this kind of thing are going to be a little bit pissed off about this. What could happen if I pay someone to recover my account? Temporary or permanent bans may be applied to your account if you are using paid recovery services. You are responsible for the security of your account and bans will be applied if someone else is detected cheating on your account or your account benefits from being in a fire team with other cheaters. Bungie will not recover any lost items or progression if you or the person slash service you share your login information with deletes anything. This is not a comprehensive list of all circumstances that could result in bans or restrictions and Bungie reserves the right to action accounts at our discretion. So there we have it guys. I mean I know for an absolute fact a lot of these PvP players out there who wanted Battle Eye because the cheating in the game is just crazy now. A lot of these same people also participate in the Camry Coves, this and the other. It seems as though well. now Bungie are putting a or well, trying to put a stop to this. I mean it doesn't say anything about carrying or carrying other players, which is okay, something you can still do. So you can still play with your favorite streamer or content creator. 
but in terms of giving your account to somebody else to get a specific item and that good shit bungee are cracking down on this but let me know your thoughts on this down below guys within that comment section and i'm just gonna leave it right there guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one